So today, Wolves 2, Hull 2, disappointing to not come away with the three points against the team down the bottom of the table. However, let's take some things into consideration. Wolves were missing two of their most influential players in Neves and Doherty. Also, they were playing up a, playing against uh, a team who were fighting for their lives down the bottom of the table, desperate to pick up points, and a team who were a Premier League team last season. Let's not forget they you know, the goalkeeper, and they defended really, really deeply. They were desperate for those points. And fair play to Hull. They came and they did a job on us. Now, the negative bits for the Wolves team today, I didn't think that Nuno made the right decision, putting Bennett at right wing, wing back. I think he was too defensively minded in the first half. And then Miranda as well, having not played for so long to put him in... To the game, not necessarily this game, but at this point in the season where things are so high pressured, you know, any mistake is going to be capitalised on by the opposition. And it was, he gave away the penalty really naively. I thought for a minute he'd got away with a pull on Myler, but then he carried on pulling him and in the end, you know, gave, gave away a penalty. And then as a result, of that was dragged off at half-time for a phobie, and then there was a bit of a shuffle, and Cavalier playing at right wing-back, and Costa playing at ring, right wing-back, they interchanged through the half, that didn't really work, so then we had to bring on Oscar Burr Rasmussen, who we've seen a couple of times in the League Cup earlier on this season, quite, an, you know, there's a lot of potential there, but for such a high-profile game, I was really, you know, worried about um, him being exposed at the back, but he wasn't, Um and, of course, he popped up with the equalising goal right near the end, which was fantastic for him. And Gibbs White being thrown on really shows that Nuno is uh, interested in the academy and he's keeping tabs on who's playing well in the academy as well. But yeah, if you take into consideration the last two games, so Middlesbrough away and Hull today, we'd have taken four points from those two games, but we probably would have expected to get a point away at Middlesbrough and win this game. But, you know, the law of averages... We've averaged two points over these two games. We move on now to a massive game on Friday night against Cardiff where hopefully we can get back on track with a win there. But again, a point would be a, another good result, just keeping that little gap between us and Cardiff. Um, but, and we, you know, gap is 11 points now to third with uh, Fulham winning tonight. So there's still work to be done. Still a couple of games left and we've there's still... They will come, I'm sure they will, but we might have to be a little bit more patient than we thought we we did after the delirium at the end of the uh, Middlesbrough game. I think we've had a little bit of a come down, a little bit of a realisation today, but we've also got two really influential, really important players coming back, having had a little bit of a longer rest than the others uh, this week. Now, I mean, Neves and Doherty really have underestimated Doherty's influence until today. I think he's... <laughs> I think he's proved to today without playing that he's one of the most important players in our team. I didn't realise, I didn't sort of appreciate how uh, much he uses the ball with Costa or Cavaliero, whoever is on that right hand side. And, you know, it's, it was em emphasised heavily today with Ryan Bennett not getting forward and then Costa or Cavaliero, when they were back there, didn't have the defensive capability. So. You know, we're now thinking about player of the season and voting for who it could be. And tonight, more than any game this season, Doherty's put himself into real consideration for me. Um, let me know what you thought about today's game. If Willie Bolly's shot would have gone in at the end, then I would have ran on the pitch. It was unbelievable. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And keep it calm. The results will come in the next couple of games. See you.